What's up, you guys? This is Devin from Century Effect Studios, back with another video. Today, we're going to be talking about losing catch lights in your model's eyes. Now, catch lights, for those of you who don't know, are just those little specular highlights that you get in the eye of the model. Now, when you get these catch lights, it, it shows that, oh, the photographer uh, flashed the subject, or they used studio strobes or some kind of professional lighting, which means this is a professional image. It also shows that, oh, this person is alive because usually when you know, people say the light leaves your eyes. It means you, you know, are no longer living. So when you see a picture with someone's with light in someone's eyes, it gives them this feeling of life. It gives them this feeling of, of, of their, that they're living. So typically photographers love to have catch lights in their images. Typically, if you don't light the model correctly, you won't get catch lights in the images and it makes their eyes look dead and all this other stuff. In some cases, you will lose catch lights and it's not necessarily your fault all that much. Uh, for example, in this picture, you'll see a catch light in the front eye of the model, the eye that's uh, closest to the camera. And this is PYT Tam. That's the model. She did an awesome job, guys. Um, and I like this picture, so I just pulled it out. But I can notice, I noticed that here in the back, I don't have a catch light. So what we're going to do is just uh, bring that catch light up a little bit more. Now, here's a side note. Now, you want to be an honest photographer. If you didn't get the catch lights right in the studio and you didn't get catch lights in the eyes because you didn't light it correctly, then that's a problem. Like, you don't see any catch lights at all, and it's just black, you know, dark holes that you're looking at you you might want to go and actually relight that situation and not use that picture but in this case i actually do have catch lights in the eyes and the reason why my back catch light is not as strong as my front catch light is not only because the face you know the back eye is you know, furthest away from the camera but the actual uh eyelashes that she's wearing they're actually thicker than the average eyelashes so the cast light has a, a, a trouble getting to the eye now especially when the eye is not as close so um she's gonna get me for zooming in but <laughs> um here what i'm gonna do is just clone uh the the cast light over and amplify the amount of light coming from the cast light so it gives it a little bit more presence now this is pretty much a full body image so we're you know we're way more than one to one with this image here and no i'm not finished editing it and i like this picture and at the end of the day it's all about you know what you like as you know as the photographer yourself but i'm going to take this clone brush all i'm going to do is you know in in windows you got the alpha click right so hit the the alt key excuse me i said alpha alt is what i meant to say and then you just take this you want to and now technically this won't be as big as uh it originally was so i'm gonna make this a little bit smaller and then just see and i'm just gonna kind of sit this right here just like that now you have to kind of understand it from a point of view of okay if i'm looking at the picture if there's an eye furthest away from the camera, it's going to be smaller to the camera, which means that everything in that eye, which is this one right here, everything in this eye is going to be smaller to the camera. And, and, and so you have to make the catch light just a little bit smaller so it looks realistic in the image. You don't want to have the same catch light as the eye that was closest to the camera because it's, it's going to look fake. But that's pretty much it, guys. But this was P PYT Tam. She did an awesome job in the shoot today. And like I said, this is torso, a almost a full body image, a three quarter length. And um, I'm not done editing it or anything like that. And um, it's uh, broad lit, yes. And it has a little bit of a Rembrandt effect. But I love it. I love it. It's, it's nice. And at the end of the day, it's all that matters. But we want to make sure that we can uh, clean up our cast lights and make sure that we can perfect little things and i'll continue in my lightroom module and my photoshop module editing this picture i'm devin with Effect studios guys thanks for watching and keep clicking your cameras